Hi, my name is Mohib Zara, and I'm a developer advocate with EMQX. EMQX is a powerful MQTT broker that's completely open source, and I'm going to walk you through connecting it with the Home Assistant platform, which is an open source and very versatile home automation platform. Again, you need to install Home Assistant on a device. Navigate to home-assistant.io, click on Getting Started, then click Installation, and you'll find a list of guides on how to install Home Assistant on a variety of single board Linux computers or on standard desktop or server operating systems. For this guide, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. Here you can see I've navigated to a fresh install of Home Assistant. This is running on a Raspberry Pi 4. Using auto discovery on a first install, it found two of my bedroom lights, which I can control directly here. By the end of this guide, we'll be controlling those lights using MQTT. We'll also create our own MQTT devices that can use EMQX to communicate through Home Assistant to both control existing devices or act as new devices that can publish sensor data or be controlled. Before we configure the MQTT integration in Home Assistant, we'll need to log into our EMQX cloud account and use our serverless deployment. Here I've already created a standard free serverless deployment. This gives you an EMQX MQTT broker that's completely free and great for testing. Then we go into authentication and ACL, click on authentication, and we add a new user. Let's name this Home Assistant and give it an arbitrary password. Now we have this new user that we can authenticate as. We click back on overview and copy the broker address. Next, we go back to the Home Assistant dashboard. Click on your user profile, scroll towards the bottom, and click on this toggle to enable advanced mode. This allows us to connect using advanced features such as TLS and SSL connections on MQTT brokers. Next, click on settings, devices and services, and in the bottom right, click on add integration. Type in MQTT. Select the first result. Paste in your broker address. Change the port to 8883, which is for uh, TLS and SSL connections. Type in the user credentials that we created in EMQX Cloud. Click on the Advanced Options toggle. Now click on Submit. Change MQTT protocol to 5, which is the latest version. Set broker certificate validation to auto. Now click Submit. Successfully connected. Now you can click Finish. We now have the MQTT integration in Home Assistant. You can easily test that this integration is working by clicking on Configure from the MQTT integrations page. Taking the topic Home Assistant slash test that we're publishing a packet to in this example tester. Subscribe to it over here and listen to a topic. And then publish an arbitrary message. We see that we're receiving that message on the subscribe topic. Now I'll show you how to create a quick automation to use MQTT to control devices in your home. Click on settings, on automations and scenes, create automation, create new automation, add trigger, MQTT, type in an arbitrary topic. This will be the topic that this automation listens on using our EMQX MQTT broker, in this case, the EMQX serverless broker. You can set what payload to look for. In this case, we'll say on. Now we can add an action since we don't really need another condition here other than that the payload be matched to on. Click add action, call service, type in lights, and we'll say light turn on. We choose an area, in this case the bedroom group where all those lights are configured. We can set the color, let's say green, and we can set the brightness. We'll go with full brightness. Now you can click save. Name this automation, turn lights on to green. Click save. We can use MQTTX, a free test client provided by EMQX, to connect to our EMQS serverless broker and test publishing a message to that topic that our 
application is listening on. So we did lights slash bedroom. And the value should be a plain text payload that says on. And we can see once I publish that message, my lights turned green. Let's create a sensor using the MQTT integration from Home Assistant. You can see from the documentation, it's quite in depth what you can accomplish, but we're gonna just go ahead and dive straight in. So the first thing you'll want to do is publish to the configuration topic, which is Home Assistant slash, in this case, sensor slash a group name. We'll do EMQX group and then slash config. And we send a JSON object that includes the name of this entity. In this case, we'll say test underscore sensor. It's value template. This says where to extract the specific value for this sensor from the payload that it publishes. Now this could be JSON. If you look in the documentation here under sensors, we see that you can do something like value underscore JSON dot the key name of whatever element that is being published in that JSON message. In this case, we'll just publish a plain text payload. So we're going to say value template is using this curly brace notation just a value. That means whatever value has been published on the state topic, which is the topic we tell Home Assistant to listen on for changes to the sensor. This is where we would publish our sensor data. So Home Assistant slash sensor slash, let's say EMQX test slash state. And we can give it a unique ID. EMQX test one. Now all we need to do to configure this new sensor is then publish. So we reconnect to our broker and click publish. Now that sensor should be available to us in Home Assistant. In the Home Assistant dashboard, click settings, dashboards, add dashboard, give it a name, an arbitrary icon, and click create. Now click open, click on the three dots in the top right, click edit dashboard, start with an empty dashboard and take control. Now here we add card and we'll say a gauge for seeing uh, sensor data come through. An entity, we scroll down and we see that our test sensor shows up as something that we can select. And now we should be able to click save. Now let's publish to that topic that we created. Here I'm using the topic that we configured as our state topic. I've typed in an arbitrary value of 50 and I'm publishing it as a plain text payload as opposed to the JSON payload that we sent to configure our device. Now I click publish. If I go back to the dashboard, I see that we see a value of 50. Now let's change this to 20 and hit publish. We see that we received the value of 20 and it displays in real time. Now let's create something that we can control versus something that's publishing sensor data. Set our payload to JSON, and now let's change our topic to text. This is a type of entity. The Home Assistant documentation has a list of entities that can be used along with their different properties. So we'll go with text slash, we'll put that back in our EMQX group. and we'll say slash config. Let's create our payload. Here we give it a name. Let's go with EMQX text. 
and then our command our command topic this is where it will receive topics so anywhere where you have a MQTT client connected to your EMQX serverless broker you can publish to this command topic uh, that your device would be subscribed to whatever device is running as an entity and this is where we receive those commands so say change the text and this is where I'll show you later in the in the home assistant dashboard where you can create a control that publishes to this topic in the same way that we found our sensor so we type in home assistant slash text slash emqx group slash set then we create a state topic this is where your entity or your device would set its state so if you published to the command topic your device received it and it changes state in some way or if it retains the text you would then publish this back on the state topic so that home assistant knows the current state of that entity we'll set that to home assistant slash text slash emqx group slash state and then we give it a unique id Let's go with EMQX text 01. And let's publish that. So now in the dashboard, let's add a new card. Let's click on by entity. We select EMQX text here. Click continue. Add to dashboard. Now click done. Now return to MQTTX. Let's take that command topic, copy it, create a new subscription to it, click confirm. Now here in our dashboard, let's type in some arbitrary text, hello world, and click enter. We see that rece we received it on the command topic. And if we go back, edit our dashboard, add another card, click on entity select our entity and click save and done now if we publish to that state topic change that to plain text hello again and click publish and now we see that the state updated here so we can change the, we can set the state through this by publishing to the command topic and then your entity can choose to update its state from that command topic or make it something else arbitrary and of course in this case we're just using the text entity but the MQTT integration for home assistant supports a number of things such as switches or lights uh, it's how you can create your own home automation products very easily now that we have demonstrated connecting using EMQX serverless with the Home Assistant MQTT integration, let's do so with running EMQX locally. Click on Settings, go to Add-ons, click on the Add-on Store, and type in EMQX. Click on the EMQX entry, and click Install. Depending on what device you're running Home Assistant on, this might take a while, and may require a reboot. Once installed, you'll see a page like this, where you can click Start, this starts your EMQX instance locally. Once it's started, click on Open Web UI. Use the default username admin and the default password public. Create a new password. And now you have an EMQX dashboard, just like you would as you would run it anywhere else. And you'll, of course, go to authentication and create a new user uh, by creating a Password Authenticator, click on Users, Add, we'll say Test is our username, and click Save. Now we have credentials to connect to this with. To test that this works, let's create a test connection using MQTTX. So we create a new connection. We'll say this is Home Assistant Local. And for the broker host, we'll type in Home Assistant home assistant dot local because 
our EMQX broker is running off of the Home Assistant, which has this local name. And we can leave the port at 1883 since we're not using a TLS or SSL connection. We can put in our credentials that we created and click connect. And we see that we successfully connect. This local EMQX instance actually doesn't have access to the Home Assistant's MQTT integration uh, because the Home Assistant integration only supports one connection. So we can go to settings and we can go to devices and services. And what we can do is reconfigure this uh, MQTT integration by clicking on configure, then reconfigure MQTT. And we just change the values to match home assistant dot local. You could even do 127.0.0.1 here. Type in the port 1883, username that we set, and the password that we set for the user credential that we created. We can say to turn off broker certification validation, and we can leave MQTT set to version five, and then simply click next and click submit. And now let's test once more by listening to that test topic and publishing to that test topic. And we see that messages are received. Now it is important to note that your entities will no longer be available because they're not registered on this broker. So you would simply go through that same process again of creating those configurations and uh, creating all those topics for uh, commands and states. But from there, you can do all of the same things that I already demonstrated, where you can create your own sensors, your own entities, control existing home automation products. And if you go to our Hackster page, I have a guide on how to connect the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi to a local EMQX broker. And all you would have to do is use the example and change the topics to match the configuration that you set for your sensor in, MQ in the MQTT integration for Home Assistant. And then you can create a very uh, quick IoT device that you can program using the Arduino IDE that works with your Home Assistant installation through EMQX MQTT broker. I have a guide for using Node-RED with EMQX. So you can create your applications that can control home automation products using the Home Assistant integrations with MQTT. To recap, we made it possible to create sensors and entities that work with Home Assistant using M the MQTT integration with EMQX, both with EMQX serverless and using the EMQX add-on for Home Assistant. Uh, we hope to see the awesome projects that you create with this. If you'd like to learn more or have questions, please check out our website, emqx.io, and check the community tab and join our Discord where we'll be doing virtual events uh, and where you can meet other developers using EMQX and ask them questions and learn from each other and share your projects. Uh, thank you for watching and I can't wait to see what you build.